so we uh we made it to the event there are cars left and right they just started fun runs over there at the autocross so i'm actually headed back to the rx7 now to go ahead and do a quick shakedown pass see how the car reacts and uh but i know you you guys haven't seen the car i've been promising i'm going to reveal it uh we revealed it yesterday uh to everyone else at the event when we got to the hotel so far the feedback's been really awesome a lot of people really like it um so hopefully you guys like it get around the corner here in this trailer and uh you guys can see what it looks like i'm really excited to show it c4 vet cart all right without further ado there she is so this is uh 10 months worth of work built the wing myself did the graphics myself uh it's running really good it's been repainted the coilovers have been adjusted uh everything is done this is under the hood c4 radiator ls1 pump 5.3 truck motor got the turbo 400 out of a 74 rv and a custom drive shaft and then among other things it's a custom panel in there and then we got the bottle 125 shot we did get the sunroof to work so that's nice so now i'm gonna go ahead and uh, go do a shakedown pass and see how it handles So we wrapped up the autocross today. I'm pretty happy with how everything turned out. Uh, we wound up coming in ninth overall out of 32 cars. Um, so we ran a 50.2. Um, the car ran pretty well. It handles pretty good. It probably could handle a little bit better, but being untested, this is the only autocross I've been to and it's pretty much the first time I've driven it and the longest I've driven it. Uh, it just is what it is. But to be honest, I'm really happy with it. The the one car I really wanted to beat was my buddy Ed. He has a Turbo LS SN95. And last year that thing came in like second or third in the autocross. So we beat him by three tenths of a second. The only cars that beat us were 
uh, a 600 cc cbr powered like dotson roadster it weighs 900 pounds a couple of completely gutted and caged like mr2s they have no doors nothing like that one miata and i beat like five miatas so i'm really happy about that and uh something else but let me show you one of the vets that beat me right and you'll understand so this is a c4 vet cart that beat me and uh you know they're not super fast but it doesn't really weigh anything and they already handle really well so uh this thing cracked off i think like a 49.8 which is about half a second faster than me and i I clicked off in, in, in uh, we had two fun runs before they started giving us timed runs. My first run was just to kind of gauge the course, which I did. And the second one, I was like, all right, well, let's kind of get into it and see what the car can do. In my second pass, I ran a 49. And I hit a cone, but it didn't matter because the whole pass wasn't timed anyway. But it was the only 49 I got all day. And if I would have, if that would have been an actual counted timed run, Instead of being in ninth, I'd be in like sixth right now. But it is what it is. Uh, Georgia Tech won the autocross. They have a BMW 528, the Turbo LS in it. Um, the thing handles amazing. It's got 275s on all four corners. It's gutted, it's caged. So tomorrow, uh, the, the drag race got postponed for tonight till tomorrow morning because it rained. Even though it is kind of all dried out now, uh, I don't think that I don't think that they're still doing it tonight. So tomorrow morning, drag races, the car is already prepped. Uh, it's actually kind of way over there right now, but uh, we took the wing off, reconnected the rear sway bar because we disconnected it for the autocross to get maximum contact and prevent the inside tire from being lifted and spinning. Um, I removed the front sway bar uh, to get some better weight transfer to the rear and I think I pulled out maybe five pounds of, I, you know, I thought I got all the weight out of the car, but then I realized like the passenger seat belt was still in it. I don't need that. You know, I pulled that stuff off, topped it off with fuel. Uh, I, I tested the nitrous in the back here and it's, it's working. So we're good to go. It's fat on the nitrous, like rich uh, fuel wise. It's very rich. So I might wind up leaning it out a little bit. I, I think there's power to be made. I can lean out the table up top and uh, bring it. Right now it's like 10 to one, right? And I really want to be around 12 to one. So there, there's a good amount of power to be picked up there. We'll see what it does and uh, we'll pick up tomorrow and hopefully give her heck, man.
Well, we got done with the drags. Uh, the car ran a best of 11.9. Um, yeah, thank you. I can't complain, especially with uh, the lack of testing it had, but the car is still together. It still runs. It's got a lot left in it. So I'm excited to bring it back next year and uh, really get to, to put down a time. Check out this vet cart. This thing is freaking sweet. It's like a mini Leroy. Well, anyway, 11.9, um, and I won three awards. I won the editor's choice, I came in second place in the drags, and I won, I don't, oh, I won the Radwood class, which is what I was most excited about. And the Radwood class is, you know, a celebration of anything 80s and 90s, so this car is just a perfect example of that. But we're done. I really hope you guys like the video. Um, sorry it's been so long, obviously the car Took forever to build. We had some challenges this week, but I plan on bringing this car back next year and throughout the next year, taking it to some autocross events, getting some testing done, getting some radials and uh, and going ahead and uh, taking it to the drag ship and really getting it dialed in. So we plan on bringing a really hard contender back next year. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.